Hello and welcome to another mod spotlight for Kerbal Space Program with me, Stimpy. Yay! <laughs> oh man, we're going to be doing a mod today. We're going to be looking at a mod today that is very old, very renowned. Doesn't need this video at all, but it was updated recently. I'm just going to go back here to my Stimpy save and we're going to take a look at it. That mod is the Nova Punch Pack, currently on 1.3 B, beta, beta if you're American, ha, huh, something like that. And um, if you don't know what the Nova Punch Pack is, it's essentially a an amalgamation of lost and forgotten parts, parts that were left unsupported by other people and um, a nice chap by the name of don't get it wrong, Tiberion. Mm -hmm. He took it upon himself to look after these parts as sort of a curator. And he's been updating them as he went to the different versions of the game. And for a standard non plugin based mod, I would have to say it's up there as the most used and well known. It's got all your standard rocket parts. And um, it covers so much aspects. I mean, if you were to pick one mod out of all to have, it would, it would probably be this one. Just for the sheer adaptability of all the parts and the interchangeableness. and It's got a lot to offer. It also comes with a few little extras now, made by Tiberion himself. And first thing we're going to notice is we've got one, two, three, four new command pods. Now, I'm doing this video now because Nova Punch has, in the last version, that when it was finally updated for 0.16, it took a long time, but uh, all the parts were rescaled quite dramatically in some cases to fit in with the new scaling and obviously EVA and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So here we've got the standard three-man capsule for Nova Punch, the Odin orbital something or other vehicle orbital something, whatever, the Odin capsule. And we got this bootleg command module. Now all these parts are made by different people, you see, or a collection of different people. They've been upgraded over time and edited and you know, it's um it's one of the reasons it took so long for this mod to be updated to zero point sixteen. There you know, they had to get all the paperwork in order basically for, you know, who did what and when and where. But yeah, this kind of capsule is um, this, but this is like your Mercury capsule, yeah, which uh, is pretty cool. I really like this capsule actually. Currently, the interior is just standard issue like this one. He hasn't updated it. It's wor it works with 0 0.17. This is 0 0.17, but um, yeah, he hasn't um, done a thing. But 0 0.17's only just come out, so it'll take him a while if he's going to make an interior cockpit for them. Excuse me. Wow. This, however, is the Lunar Excursion Module for the Thor Lander. Thor Lander is kind of like a kit it comes with um, to build a lander. It's a decent lander. I used this lander in actually one of my moon landing videos. Um, but now it's a lot bigger and it's just a two-man two -man vehicle. The idea being that when docking is you know all up and ready that this is literally going to be the lander module for this three-man orbital vehicle. That's cool. And you've got this, which is an unmanned cylinder. A lot in my campaign mode, I go into the um, configuration file and edit, edit this to be a mech jeb. But let's, uh, let's finish faffing around like a, uh, like a chicken and go take a look at the parts, because it does add a lot. Let's start off with engines. So we're not going to go through them all, but we're just going to go. We've got these massive engines. Massive. Absolutely crazy. All different kind of styles different people made different ones so I mean these are some early Nova Salisco ones very early a lot of this is uh, Nova Salisco, Sunday Punch, Captain Slug Captain Slug's parts were a recent addition uh, very nice because I was always fond of this particular booster I loved the simplicity of this booster but um, if you watched any of my other videos my rockets are usually made of these Nova Punch parts because I just I love them so much and this this is this engine and some people think it's cheating. Um, a lot of it's relatively balanced, actually. It's all really, This is um, this is kind of like the standard gimbling engine, except it's got a higher gimbal range. It's like this one. 
and uh, I like it because it's smaller, K2X, like the J2X rocket engines. So it, um, there's all sorts of parts, and it does come with its own Nerva engine. I don't know, and it's yeah, here it is. Is its own Nerva engine. How cool is that, huh? But uh, hmm, there's lots of different parts in there. I mean, we got lots of huge parts here like this. Some of the parts have been upscaled. We'll try and find an upscaled one. Here it is. Uh, the originals. These were uh, these were three meters originally. This is five meters. I think this is the three meter. Yeah. So you can go to super huge rockets, really big, real big mamas, and you've got all the fairings and stuff here, like these sorts of crazy things with lots of different attach nodes so you can cover your engines nicely. Whenever you use these, do strap them together though. Something to note, I've noticed, with the stock Nerva engine, if you put one of these cowlings over it, quite often it will explode as soon as you detach it because it will clip the side of it so slightly and those Nervas do like to explode. And you've got all sorts in here. Like, um, these are cool. These are handy actually for all sorts of uses. These are explosive bolts. Where did the window go? There it is. These are explosive bolts. They're basically decouplers and they just pop things away. They've got an ejection force, I think that's uh, pretty decent. Do they even say ejection force? Ejection force 1, I guess not. But they're cool anyway. I actually often use these for mounting points. Like if I want a one of those uh, cameras, those mech jib cameras in a weird angle, I'll just use these as mounting points because you can attach things to them. It's really handy. And it's all sorts of payload fairings and all sorts of crazy stuff. I'd clicked off the window whatsoever again. Oh well, now we're back. Excuse me. And uh, you got decouplers and all sorts, all sorts of different decouplers for your various styles and whatever you want to build. It's a real, it's a real mishmash, but all with a general theme, and you can do quite a lot with it. We got like a retro booster there. That's pretty cool. I've never actually used that part. Yeah, something to do. Comes with its own. It's pretty chunky by today's standards, solar panels, but some people like them. And you got these. These are old, old these are actually satellites people used to use. Um, just uh, they're a decoupler in itself, and people would go up and just decouple them. And yeah, back before persistence and stuff. People still use them. It's all good. It's all good. And these are a lot of parts for the Odin and Thorlander, like these little... These parts are generally quite... Um, they're, in a sense, built for each other. In a way, they go together with these little nodes on each side and stuff. But... Uh, <laughs> people laughing downstairs. It's funny. Yeah, like, uh, that's the base land, you know, that's the base engine for the Odin Orbiter, you get the fuel tank and then the four radial engines. But I like to, uh, I like to see what I can do with these in different manners. Be, you know, be creative, that's all good. It comes with some landing legs as well, these big old chunky cool landing legs, they're pretty cool, they're decent. But yeah, I'm rambling on now, so, as you can see, there's pretty much tons of stuff adds, all lots of extra parts. This is just stock and Nova Punch, there's 190 parts in this pack. So if you haven't checked it out, which is pretty much, you know, you probably have, but you might have been thinking, ah, oh, they haven't updated it, I haven't looked at it since it's updated, but go check it out, seriously, it's, um, it's one of my favourites, and I do wholeheartedly recommend it, as if you were going to grab one, just grab this one, it's lovely, I'm even going to show you a rocket I built, a rocket I built, where is she, yeah, I've been busy, the Cohiba, the Cohiba. Yeah, named after a cigar but with a K on it. I know K's. Yeah, she is. I wanted to go I wanted to build a rocket that didn't have any radial boosters, alright? No no boosters, just all straight up liquid. This is a full liquid rocket. We start off with this five meter huge engine. What kind of what's the stats on that bitch? Oh, don't be rude. This has a seventeen fifty one thousand seven hundred and fifty max thrust. It's um pretty damn powerful and that's a huge fuel tank and then in here we've got this little engine Oop. and that gets us up and then we deploy the payloads and inside we've got an entirely stock orbiter just like that so you can make really really uh, swish I'd say swish <laughs> swish but I mean you know 
that's a rocket. That's straight up a rocket. You know, you've got no bits hanging on the top. It's overkill, yeah. It's so entirely overkill, really, for what it's lifting. But this has the possibility of lifting other things too. I mean, I could extend these fairings. Let's take that off. That's, where's the clone? Is that the clone tool? No, that's not it. I can't. Oh, where are you? There you are. But you know, it could have a payload mounted on the front of it. It could be delivering a satellite into orbit. I tell you, these things are a little bugger to pick up, you know? <laughs> Come on, girl. Get a hold of it. Oh, nearly had it. Nearly had it. There she is. Yeah, but it could be delivering a payload in there. And it could quite happily deliver, you know, a bit of weight up into the atmosphere. And you, you know, you got a uh, reusable. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But yeah, Nova Punch Pack, bloody cool. Let's actually load up the standard one of this and uh, just have a little whiz on the launch pad. Cue video cut here. Alright, here we are at the launch pad with the Cohiba, a giant cigar to space. And we're all strutted up in the uh, Mijigis. Look at the size of it on the launch pad, huh? This is a suitable size rocket for this launch pad. But, fuck a countdown. <laughs> Look at that piece of rocketry go. A oh, column of fire to space. Hey, look, it's the moon. Yeah, she goes pretty well. I tell you, this place looks really nice now they've got the new, um, the new Majikis, the new skybox and everything. Look at that sun. Look at that little bit of glare coming off of this. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. This is actually a really easy rocket to fly. Basically, we go straight up until this first stage is burnt out. But we're not going to fly this to orbit because uh, i got other things to do. And uh, I'm actually going to do another video with this rocket because i got something planned. I just need to install another mod so we're going to uh, we're going to see how well this thing launches over land. Yep, we're a ballistic missile today. Isn't that right, Calden? He's completely oblivious. The other two are not. Hanry and Werfrey. They know what's coming. Just, here we go, here it comes. Separation. When I push the button, of course. There it is. Beautiful. It's a really nice and controllable rocket. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. And the payload fairings. The stock Nova Punch payload fairings tend to split into parts like that. Uh, I think it's because I had them staged all together. They, they behave ever so slightly different. They're rather robust, but for payload fairings, my favourites are still either the MMI or KW. The uh, Kyle and Winston Challenger pack has a payload fairing pack that goes along with it that adds uh, like two or three sets of payload fairings. It's uh, very cool. RCS, RCS, we must escape. Yeah. Look at that. They make big bangs, these rockets do too. When you're using a fuel tank this big. Will we get to see it? Go on. Oh, my parachute. Oh, nice. Cool. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this relatively quick. Hope quick. Jesus Christ! I've probably been talking for fucking ages. I can never make these things short. Seriously, I try. I try. I try. I try. I just keep rambling on and on and on and on and on. Get out and walk. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me, Stimpy. Have a lovely day and keep flying rockets.